Hello, my divine kings and queens. Whew. I'm about to do another video. Um, I needed to come on here real quick and say something to y'all. Uh, and you know, I just, I just got back from my graduation um, trip and. Um, taking Jade for a walk right now and so one of the things that I wanted to address is the battle between light and darkness um again like I said I was gonna wait to you know start talking about these types of things this week once um I got my energy back and everything but I mentioned this in a video on one of my other channels about your presence, the impact that you make on people's lives just because of your energy. Um, and it's a particular group of you who were pushed to the side and put on a back burner by a lot of people who was influenced by um, lower vibrational energies and people who are around them that were telling them that you know things about you that just wasn't true and the reason why you guys go through these types of things like what i was saying they couldn't appreciate you i had to stop walking for a second they couldn't appreciate you when you were in their lives because they had all these other different people who were around them that were telling them things about you that were not true. They had people that was in their lives that knew what you guys stood to accomplish, had you guys came together, and they did everything in their power to break that apart. It had nothing to do with you. I tell you all the time, it has something to do with these people's soul and their mind, and also the people who listened to these people, now they realize that they didn't mean them no good. You get me what I'm saying? But it took you having to come into their lives for them to feel something that they never felt before. Because like I tell you, when you're around lower vibrational energies and people who are not vibrating as high as you, when somebody come in that's new, that's fresh, that's real, people feel that in a sense that even though they may not appreciate you for it, when you were in their lives, trust and believe when you left, they felt that shift and they knew that something was missing. I said that in one of my other videos, that they knew something was missing when you were no longer there, but they didn't know what to do with you when you were in their lives. And see, a big part of that is like what I'm telling you, it's a battle between light and darkness. I gotta get over here. Oh. gotta find me a spot so me and Jay don't get hit <laughs> um it's a battle between light and darkness okay um it's a battle because of because of who you are as a person and what you stand to accomplish I tell you all the time you know, one of the things that I was battling and that I was going up against, you know, just last night, I was saying, I can't, this is hard. You know, I tell y'all sometimes being chosen is a blessing, but you feel like at that given point in time that it's a curse because I realized that I resonate and I vibrate with a lot of people who are older than me. I'm talking about twice my age. I can hold conversations with them because of my wisdom. But don't you know people will hate you just because of how wise you are? Just because of everything that come out your mouth, they know that it's right. That it's like, oh, why everything that come out your mouth got to be smart, got to be wise. Why you always got to know something? You can't just, just not know something. You can't just not always be mature. You know what I'm saying? Like stupidity. And see, it's not you. It's the people that you're trying to connect to. Because again, I tell you, people are marked in this world. For those of you who are spiritual, for those of you who are elevated and awakened, you will understand where I'm coming from. 
This is why I come on here the way I come on here. I ain't worry about all this type of stuff. I said, oh, I'm going to wait to... No, man, I had to come on here and get this out because I'm feeling like a lot of you guys don't understand why the very same people that probably didn't like you, I know, baby, that didn't like you at once upon a time still don't like you for everything that you've done. And, and you like, okay, I'm still encountering the same type of people. People still have the same type of energy. I've changed, but these people stayed the same because people are marked. This is what they're set to do. And I'm, I keep trying to tell you, you you're not going to believe it. It's not going to make sense to you if if you haven't gone through some things to be, you know, thinking the way that I am right now. But this is why I'm trying to put y'all on. I keep trying to tell you, be very mindful of who you connect to, who you tell your business to, who you choose to let in your energy, to let in your space. A lot of people won't respect you, baby, just because of how wise you are. Just because of the things that you're doing. Just because of how nice you are. Because of your very being. But you can't help that. That is your energy. You are of the light. You got a lot of people who are of the darkness. And I keep trying to tell you the devil will try to overcome you and take your mind. And have you feel like, well, if you just, you you know what I'm saying? You could have this if you just know how to dress like this. If you just, if you just talk like this. More people want to come around you, but it'll be the wrong people. It'll be the people that God don't want around you in your life because of where he's trying to take you. <clears throat> and see last night that's how i knew i had to come on here and say this i was i was like battling and i was going up against it like in my head like you you gave me all this but but i feel alone i i, I, I feel alone man because i can't hold conversations with people who are in my age group because what they want to talk about i don't be on that i may know about it. i may be able to hold a conversation about it but I, t I can tell when the energy is off. That's the thing. I'll I'll be cool. You'll never know. I'll do for you. I'll, but I could tell that the energy is off. And I know that I don't resonate with a whole lot of people that's in my age group just because I've gone through things that people in my age at that time didn't go through. And now at this stage in my life, what you want me to do? You want me to go in here and talk stupid? You want me to go in here and, and dress a certain type of way that's just not me and then I feel uncomfortable? I can't do that. But I can be me. I can be me and hope that at the end of the day, God will bring the right people that's supposed to be in my life. And so what I'm trying to tell you is in that moment, I really had to take a deep breath. And he, you know, like I said, when I was talking to him, you know, I felt like he was trying to give me comfort in saying that this is why I protect you. This is why I'm blessing you. This is why I'm giving you the things that I'm giving you. Yes, you can go and you listen, you listen to the devil and you do all these types of things. But let me tell you something, what comes along with that territory and then all the work that we've done, all the progress that we've made. It would be for nothing if you hold strong and you continue to hold on to my hand i got you i know that it's not easy being in this world and being who you are in this world because everybody ain't you you get me what i'm saying everybody ain't you so i'm here to tell you everybody ain't you but that's okay because the right people that, that need to be in your life, the right people that's going to put you and get you to where you need to be, you're going to encounter them. And I'm one of them. Do you hear me what I'm saying? If I keep pushing, you got to keep pushing. If I'm not giving up, you can't give up. It's a whole lot of people. This is why people doing the same thing. They they think the same. Like, oh, I got to dress like this. I got to look like this. I got I to gotta act like this. I got to do this. I got to do that. It's a battle. It is a battle between light and darkness. The devil is trying to build his army. And God is building his. Do you get me what I'm saying? The devil going to keep trying to manipulate and touch and try to get deceive people. To, to come on his side, to see things from his perspective. And it's, I feel you when I get it. No one wants to feel alone. No one wants to feel outcast. No one wants to feel like they're not being appreciated or they're not being recognized. They're not getting the same level of support or, or, or love like everyone else may get. And sometimes you may try to figure out like, well, why so-and-so get it as opposed to me? Let me tell you something. I keep trying to tell you people are marked. They get along with other people who are marked just like them. You are different. It's like you are in a world where everybody can get along with anybody i'm talking about if they just met 
they'll group up because the energy and they mark. You get what I'm saying? The energy, the energy. They got that same energy. But then God put a different dot on you. He put a different marking on you. So you're not going to fit in with these people. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to fit in with these people. And that's something that you have to understand. That's something that you have to understand. Give me a minute. Oh my Lord. It's branches here. You're not going to fit in. But that's something that, like I said, at this stage in your life and where you are, that's something that you're going to have to be okay with for right now until God gets you where he needs to get you. The thing is, if he gave you all these things and if you fit in with all these people and you got the love and support that you wanted for, from these different types of people, you wouldn't want to be on this mission when he called you to be on this mission because you wouldn't want to give all that up. I'm saying something. If he would have gave you what you wanted at the time that you wanted it, you feel me what I'm saying? You wouldn't want this mission when he came to you. You wouldn't even want to hear about the blessings and everything that comes along with it and everything like that. You wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want it because you wouldn't want to give up everything that you felt came along with being a part of this world. Worldly desires, worldly possessions, materialistic things that you can't even take with you when your, when your body and your soul leave this earth. Can't take money with you. Can't take jewelry with you can't take all them all them friends who probably round you for the wrong reasons or probably round you because of whatever the reason yo you know that you whatever whatever you whatever you got going on that is part of the world this is the reason why people rock with you but let me tell you something when your soul and your body leave this earth you can't take that with you now can you and then who you gonna have to answer to when all that's gone and then by you giving in to the devil, you think he going to be there and, and putting a voucher for you and putting a good word for you like, oh, no, let this person in. Let me tell you something. He's a fallen angel. He is a fallen angel. He went up against God. Let me tell you something because of different beliefs. Wanted to be better, wanted to be more superior. You get me what I'm saying? But he don't mean nobody no good that comes along with listening to him and being a part of his army and clicking up with people that, that you know follow him and that's of him. Let me tell you something. You can look at it and you can tell. Since a person energy, man, look at what they talk about. And you will tell when it's off when it come to you. You can tell when it's off, man. You can tell when they vibrate with other people and then when it come to you, it's a shift. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Let me tell you something. Don't go around here and acting like you got to dumb yourself down that you got to... um sexualize yourself or you get me what i'm saying you can't keep your morals intact because you're trying to sit up here and fit in with people who you don't even even need to be fitting fitting in with and so you know like i said i say that to say that whatever it is that you're battling mentally and spiritually you got the whole strong that this world and the people in this world ain't what it's cracked up to be and I'm telling you something that I know, man. You sit up here and you lose yourself if you want to. I told you, find yourself or you'll lose yourself. And it's so easy to lose yourself with all this temptation and everything that comes along with being a part of this world. But it's so hard. It's so hard to back up from that and not want to be a part of that because you want to actually be different. Because you are different. Let me tell you something. You ain't got to take my word for it. Even if you was to try and get around these people, they still would not respect you for who you are because let me tell you something, they know that you're different. They sense your energy. And if they're marked and they're not of the light, what you think going to happen? You think they just going to welcome you in open arms? If they do, it's to destroy you by deceiving you. So no matter what you do, no matter how you try to do it, no matter who you try to do it with, it ain't going to work because that's not for you. It's not gonna work because that's not for you. And the quicker you realize that, the better off life will be for you. You may not see it and you may be 
like, well, how life gonna be better for me to tell if I feel alone? And if I feel like if every person that I try to do right by or put on or show love to, for whatever the reason, they got some deep-rooted envy and jealousy towards me. It's a battle. You've already been marked. Ain't a thing you're going to be able to do about that. You're going to have to take that up with God. You've already been marked. So at the end of the day, it ain't like you can go to him and tell him, oh, change my marking. I don't want my marking no more. I don't want to be chosen no more. You got to go through it. But you're going to encounter people that are going to help you along your journey. And that's going to bring some, some, some sense to the situation. You get what I'm saying? To make it more at ease. And... I'm here to tell you that I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people. So at the end of the day, if you ever feel like, you know, that the going gets too tough and you can't do it no more, just think about what all you stand to achieve if you keep going strong on your journey and you keep doing what it is that you have to do. So stay true to who you are don't sell out no matter how hard it get no matter what nobody tell you stay true stay true and don't sell out hold on I'm trying to go around Thank you. Stay true to who you are. Don't give up the fight. That's all I got to say. And if y'all don't remember, y'all remember when I told you I said that God is protecting you by isolating you. That mark isolates you, but it protects you at the same time. It's a lot of people. Hold on.